A few moments later. Now, where all the ISD tells us it is aware of a, of a video showing a fight inside Nimitz High School. The brawl involves an adult and students, and the district told us the fight happened on Wednesday and did involve a parent. All the ISD says she has been arrested and charged with assault. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely wonderful. Big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of Texas by way of Houston. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Texas. Everybody in the great city of Houston, my hometown. Now, before I start this story, I want to send a special thank you all to my channel members and also to my subscribers and also, yeah. My family back home for sending me the story. And I'm sorry that I'm a little tardy for the party, a little late for this video. But guess what? It's better now than never. But anyway, thank you all for sending me this story. And also, keep those stories coming. Now, I don't know what's going on in this day and age inside these schools where you have children just going on their book. And also to understand, why are these kids so violent these days? And more than that, what I can't understand is why you parents can't get it through your heads to stop going to these schools trying to fight these students. I am so tired of seeing parents. Yes, we're going to start it off right. I am so tired of seeing parents going to school and getting a, uh, it start with a B, getting a, uh, yeah, they butt talks whoop. You know what I'm saying? I am tired of seeing parents go up there, you know what I'm saying, like the child is looking at you like, you know, mama going to protect me. Because it's always a mama. You notice you never see no daddies at these schools trying to fight nobody. Me and we got more sense than them because we understand. Some of them kids, them big old high school football players will put some on our butt. You get me? So, you know, we'll send a woman up there and let her take that L. But anyway, now all this took place, yes, just last Wednesday, just a few damn days ago. And I've been seeing this uh, video circulating all over the damn internet. But I was thinking like, you know, that do not look like Texas. If anything, I thought it was Baltimore or North Carolina. I'm not throwing no shots at my people in B-more or my people in North Carolina. But guess what, though? Every time we see a fight video involving some students or a parent, but most of our parents, it's always somewhere up north. You know what I'm saying? So forgive us because we did not know that that was here unless you was right there in the Houston area or whatnot. Now, as you all can tell, the mom, yes, the mom is the little short lady with her daughter, approaching this door and you see a big old white man blocking the door now the white guy was blocking the door for a reason because guess what i'm gonna give you all a little time to think about that go ahead and think yes the big white man yeah looking like uh big snow white out there was blocking the door because it was lions tigers and bears inside that damn administrative office now Common sense would have told the mama, look, maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe we need to retreat like Megatron used to tell the Decepticons back in the day when they were fighting Optimus Prime. Decepticons, retreat! You know, when you're losing a battle, if you think you can't win, re what? Tree. Yeah, you got to go. So, somebody yelled out, open the door. Open the door, you be. You know, call them a uh, itch. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so somebody inside the room opened the door. The, uh... The mom or the daughter did not open the door. And also, the big white guy that was standing in front of the door did not open the door. Somebody from inside that office reached down real low and opened that door and snatched their butt right up in there. And guess what? And that's when all hell broke loose. So I'm thinking that loud as the mom was talking and everything, you know, and also mistaking the mom for a student almost until I seen the face. Now, I ain't going to talk about nobody's face because y'all get mad sometimes I talk about people's face. But anyway, now... I thought the mom was about that life, but evidently, <laughs> mom did not get the memo. And upon going inside that building, and also, guess what? I could not show the whole fight because I'm not trying to be flagged because you cannot show nobody fighting on YouTube. Now, look, those other channels can show them or whatnot, but guess what? I have people hating on me secretly after your boy. They be just sitting back waiting for videos like this. Yeah, go ahead and show it. Go ahead and show it so we can report it. So if you want to see the whole video, click the link below, and it'll take you right to it. But anyway, upon them going inside that office, I look to the left, I look to the right where the camera was panning, and you see these big old girls. The girls bigger than the mama or whatnot. Now, what in the hell are they feeding these students? That's why I want to know, can you all please tell me what is going on inside these schools where these kids are big as cows or whatnot? But anyway, the mom got the hell beat out of her, got drugged and everything. And then one of the girls reached down and even slapped the mom again after they was through. And the mom looked up at her like this. Now, mama, what you going to tell your daughter? I bet that was a long ride home. And not only that, you got your butt whooped and your daughter got a butt whooped, but also you got arrested. But anyway, we'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story. And I am going to get my opinion, all of it. Mm. Surely, as we go, 
A woman was arrested after a fight at Nimitz High School Wednesday. Yes, video circulating on social media shows the fight, which appears to happen inside an office. And also, the staff said they are deeply disturbed by this video. Y'all deeply disturbed. We are deeply disturbed. Because guess what? They could have been one of us going up there, you know, with our child or whatnot. And that's why I tell you all, look, look. Take your emotions out. I understand women, it's a little hard for y'all to take your emotions out, but take your emotions out before somebody take your hair out or take you out. But you got to understand one damn thing. Stop going to these schools if you're not about that knuckle game, if you're not about that life. Because guess what? You might end up getting your ass whooped. And then Trey King will have to do a video on it. Anyway, let's continue. The woman was arrested and charged with assault and bodily injury. Now, they say it's not known if any students were punished by this involvement. And I'm sure those students that was involved in this fight do not give a damn. Because guess what? This is a win for them. Because guess what? Not only did they whoop the daughter, but they also whooped the damn mama. Now, mama bears, let me talk to y'all mamas out there. Look, the job of a mama bear is to do what? Yes, protect the cubs. You must protect the cubs. Like the Under Armour commercial said, we must protect this what? House, not shack. So, the job of a mama and dad, but we talking about mamas not because dads ain't going to these damn schools. We ain't stupid like that. Because they'll mess around trying to shoot us or something. Anyway. The job of a mama bear is to do what? Protect the cubs. Now, how are you going to be a protector, a shelter, if you're getting your ass whooped right alongside your daughter? And that's sad. The daughter over there trying to duck them blows and looking right over there at you trying to duck them blows too. That's a sad situation. Now, imagine that ride back home. I bet the daughter was looking at her mom like this. <laughs> this chick. You know what I'm saying? I know that daughter did that. But anyway, in closing, what the school district had to say, we're going to close on this note right here. Let this be a lesson to all of you all going up to these schools trying to fight these damn students. Anyway, they say the district will use all of its resources. All means what? Everything. To prosecute any individuals. Any means everybody. Anybody. Anybody can get it. Now, they also say who exhibit inappropriate and violent behavior to the fullest extent of the law. The safety, yes, the safety and security of our students and staff will continue to be all Dean ISD's top priority, which means if you ain't got your knuckle game straight, if you can't fight off, you can't think straight, do not, do not take y'all ass to that school. You feel me? Stop going to these schools trying to fight, trying to show your child that you're bad or whatnot. You feel what I'm saying? The main thing you should do is find out what really happened. Go through the necessary steps because these kids are not playing. Look, I'm trying to save you from getting your ass whooped today. You can laugh at this video all you want to, but I'm sure Somebody was on their way to a school today and they happened to see this video. So let me see what Trey King had to say. And guess what? If I save at least one person, yes, one person from getting their ass whooped today, I feel I have did my job. Anyway, I told you all the story. You all let me know what you think about this story. And if there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section. Or you can email me. We can talk about it. What? More? There. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share this video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. Stay safe. Talk to your children. But most of all, if you don't do anything else, stay your ass out the school because these kids is not playing with you. Anyway, till next time, you all stay blessed. And guess what? I'm out.